all right. <clears throat> Sorry. Thank you, Will. Thank you so much for joining in. And we're going to do our assessment. So thank you for joining in for this. I'll quickly thank share you. my briefing uh, with you. Please let me know if you can sh see my screen. Yeah. Yeah. OK, to conduct this briefing, we'll be using a couple of uh, uh, documents here. I have already sent you case study one and case study two. And also I've sent you a model of the answer, which is already filled. And there are two forms for one and two, which needs to be filled. So this unit is FSK WTG001, complete personal details on extremely simple and short place form. This unit is for individuals who are preparing for an employment. They're filling their assessment form with the basic reading and writing skills. So according to AC, ACSF, the writing course skill is just 0 0.05 and 0 0.06. So it's super, super basic. Um, the purpose of the assessment is to assess the skills and knowledge required to complete the key details, the personal details, in an extremely simple and short workplace form. Each task needs to be completed independently. So we're not in groups, so it's one-to-one. -one. Um, you need to identify the correct form. So I have shared two forms and we'll walk through the, uh, the case study together. So out of two forms, you need to select one form, the correct form, and fill that accordingly, according to the scenario. Uh, you can also refer to a sample uh, forms you know, which is already completed and I've already shared with you. Um, if you have any clarification, if you want any assistance filling the form, you can refer to an expert or a mentor. So mentor is myself. So I'm happy to help and happy to assist you. A satisfactory and accurate response is mandatory for each question. And if in case uh, there's uh, uh, an option or any tab which has no answer. So please mention any. Don't leave that blank, please. Okay. So the time, what I have, it's super easy, but time limit, what I have set, I've set up is 30 minutes for each task. Um, again, case study one and case study two. With this assessment, there are two instruments. One is case study and one is observation. Uh, since we are doing Zooming, I would request you if you can share your screen while filling the form so yep. I can observe you filling the form. So that's my second instrument. Um, the resources required, if we were doing face-to-face, -face, it was colored pen and a piece of paper. However, since we are doing it digitally, so it's your computer, uh, internet, and MS Word. So can I confirm you have MS Word installed on your laptop? Yep, all good, all ready to go. Awesome, and screen sharing should be used if conducting an assessment via Zoom, just purely because of observation purposes. Uh, for WHS um, consideration, ensure your computer keyboard is functioning and are safe to use. Um, for the requirements of support or any reasonable adjustment, you can refer to a sample document. Um, just to copy or just to uh, you know check the your answers you can also uh, refer to an expert or a mentor so mentor in my, in my case uh, and you can ask for clarification or support um, since we're doing it digitally you can also use a spell check uh, just to edit your spellings and stuff and you can also request me to yeah. explain or con contextualize in the assessment, so I'm happy to help. Um, if in case um, the candidate like yourself is deemed unsatisfactory, so you have three maximum attempts. So we'll discuss the feedback at the, at the later stage. Um, also, once you have submitted your form, I'll send it back uh, to, with the feedback and you have maximum of three attempts. Um, also, if in case you're not happy with the feedback or if you have any issues, you have a right to appeal within seven days of receiving the result. Do you have any questions? No, no, that all makes sense. Okay. 
the appeal process is super simple. However, we recommend you to just, you know, for our first attempt, if you can speak to your trainer or assessor or mentor in my case, before initiating an appeal process, I'm happy to provide you a detailed feedback, which is fair and try to resolve your concern at the first instance. If you feel that you're not happy uh, with my feedback or you're not, you don't want to speak to me, there's a um, link here where you can contact the department for a feedback purpose. All your personal information is protected by law, including a Privacy Act 1988. And your personal information includes such as your name, date of birth, your contact details, your education and employment history and details of your personal circumstances only shared with all the information you shared is for individual learner. Uh, please feel free if you need any, any clarification or if you need any break or something, just stop me and be happy to accommodate that. Of course, thank you. Good. Um, so do you mind now sharing the case study one with me? Uh, can you? Share the screen. Yep, I can do that. There we are. Awesome. So that's our case study one. Uh, I can see that uh, clearly. So do you mind reading that through? Please ask me any questions. So that was our case study. And these are the two forms. Okay, so form one and form two. Form two. Okay. Um, so for the form, we need to fill out both? No. So the case study is, for example, you're looking for a suitable job and you've been asked to fill an assessment form. So at the moment, you have not secured an employment. So you're not an employee. You're just filling a form for an initial workplace assessment. Uh, so you need to pick either of the form, either one or two. Oh, okay. So which so, form do you pick? Let's let's do step by step. Which we go for number one. Correct. And you have gone through the the instructions as well. You're good with that. Do you need any help with that? No, so it's just fill it out. Yep. So use only blue pen to fill in the details. Uh, a blue font would be helpful. So uh, how do I get a blue font? Okay, if you select that, can you can you select the your name? Like click on it. Yeah, click on it, and just like copy and select, like click on it and then drag. Can you select that? Yeah. And do you see A where it says red? Yep. yep. And if you go down and there's a blue, can you see? Yeah, correct. So it goes blue. Like that? Correct. So if you can do it for your last name as well. Thank you. Perfect.
we can we can use tick or or cross anything. Design job. So, like, since we are doing an assessment form, so what job uh, are you looking for as a candidate? And if I need to assess your profile, uh, truck driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any other option? Do you Want to look for something else? Uh, lawyer. Okay. The next one is your previous job. So just uh, it'll help your um, consultant or the assessor. Okay. Um, would you have? Do you want to share any hobbies or interest? Um, yeah. Is that how I should fill it out? Correct. So there's a small checklist here. Well, so once you have filled it, if you can just check for spell check, if you go through the form once again and see if there's no spelling mistake or no sort of, uh, you know, uh, a red line, like in your email, see there's a red line. So maybe yeah. there's some error. So can we just go through once again? As a how do I do a spell check? Okay, if you if you click on your email, yeah, and double click. Can you click right click on it? Yeah, it says no suggestion. Okay, so can you please, can you, can you enlarge your screen? Maybe I can help you to check if there is any error. Uh, how do I make it larger? Okay, um, on the right hand side do, of your Word document, do you see a slide bar like it says zoom in? Oh, okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay, William dot in at Outlook. Okay, in just after Outlook, it's coma dot com. Can you replace it with dot? Just do backspace and dot. Right. See if it works. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. So so now we have checked our uh, spell check. Now, if you go on complete it, and you can just put a cross, cool. Proofread, we'll just go through once again the form and check. Okay, uh, again, Will, because this form needs to be uh, filled only with a blue pen, like if you're doing it, or with a blue, blue uh, font, can you please change the address, your contact details with the, to a blue font? Select all and then blue. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. 
you you also have my uh, the model the sample form which i filled so if you want to refer that you can perfect so we've done that if you can please put an another cross to proofread grammar so i've checked the grammar it's perfect like especially you know with the upper um, upper caps the first letter b and in an in a caps so it's perfect so we can click on that as well formatting can you just go through once again can you please yeah okay format perfect looks good to me date of birth is good yeah email has at gmail perfect correct and you corrected and made necessary changes according to the feedback which you did so perfect okay are you that's that's all about our first form are you happy with the first form are you okay with that yeah uh, that looks you, good if you are if you can please save it and send it across to me yeah of course let me do that for you thank you Thank you. Completed. Thanks. I've got that. Thank you. Okay. So we're just going to quickly go through our second um, case study. Can you please share once again your screen for case study two? Yeah. Okay, so well, this is our case study too. So now you have started a new job and your employer has asked you to complete a new employee information form. It's basically for your payroll purposes. So just wanna make sure you get paid correctly and timely. So out of two forms now, form one and form two, which form is correct? Which form would you pick up? Okay, yeah, so workplace form. Yeah, so we, what we're doing is uh, we're filling the employee form. So out of two this forms. This a workplace form. Uh, it's a new employee information form. Yeah, to give my information to the employer. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, this you... is the same information. Yeah, but it just have a little bit more details for a payroll purpose, like your bank details, your superannuation, so they can pay you correctly and in timely manner so out of two forms which you reckon is the correct one uh both mm -hmm. but yeah they're both correct correct but the first one was assessing your job like what job we need to find you the second one is now you have found a job congratulations you've got a job now you started to work now your employer needs your bank details and like superannuation, your contact details, just to make sure you they have correct information on their file. And also they want to pay you. If you're working, they got to pay you. So you need to give them your bank numbers and BSB and account oh, number. So they need this one, form two, to pay me. Exactly. So this is now 
at the second stage, you have found an employment. I watch Christmas on Christmas. Will, just let me know if you need any help filling up the form. Thank you. I think that's everything. Okay. Okay, let's go through the checklist once again. Yeah. So for spell check. Yeah. Are you happy with the spell check or do you want to go through uh, once again? Well, our days is short for road, so that's right, isn't it? Um, do you mind changing it to the complete full form? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. And uh, there's... Are you happy with another... Uh, there's another red line. Are you happy with the answer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we've done our spell check. So we can put a cross cross. Proofread. Do you just want to go through the the answers once again and check? Or maybe the instructions you want to go through. Did you, um, is a needing full name? Uh, yes, your first name, full name, and your last name. Yes. Me. Mm Yes, everything's all good. Cool. Um, are you happy with your grammar? Um, you good with that? Yeah, I think everything's yeah. okay. Yeah, we can do that. Formatting, um, while you were just filling it, I was observing it. You're good with that. And also, you did correct it and made necessary changes according to the feedback. 
Uh, are you happy to submit or would you like to just go through the instructions once again? Or if you need any clarification or anything? No, I think that looks very well good. Form two. You could you good with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you need me to send this one to you? Yes, if you could, please. Thank you. Of course. There you are. Thanks. Thank you. I'll quickly save that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll quickly um, share my model answer sheet, like a form which I shared with you previously. So can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. For initial... Is it, uh, yes. I'll start. Okay, I'll just quickly, let's quickly go through it and check if everything is been correctly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not opening. I'm sorry, my screen has frozen. I'm not able to open the 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 completed task which you sent me. Okay, let's start with the task two, Will. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, so well done. You, you picked up the correct form for task two, case study two. So we're looking for employee, uh, new employee information form. So you, you were spot on and you picked up the correct one. It's just that when we go through the instruction, uh, it says use only red pen to fill in the form. Uh, okay. So like, you know, we did it in case study one, it was blue and this was red. I'm so sorry. Um, unfortunately, I need to do that as unsatisfactory. Uh, however, you, you have maximum three of three attempts. It was, so you have another two attempts as well. So okay. whenever you're ready, um, I can send you a feedback form and you can do once again. Uh, yeah. But as per other information, like you did proofread and you also integrated your feedback and you did fill out all the necessary information which was required, which was fine. And also we missed out on employee signature and a date as well. So it was very important as well. So. But again, as I mentioned, you know, you have another attempt and the third attempt as well. So I'll write down on the feedback, but um, 
if you have any questions or if you have need any clarification, you're more than welcome to approach me and let me know and I can assist you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And um, I'll see if I can open the first one. First one. I'm not, for some reason, I can't download the first document. Did you want me to email it to you? Uh, it's opening. No, it's it, it open. Thank you. Okay, can you see my second screen? Yeah. Awesome. So that was our first form and, and well done uh, on you as well. Like again, picking up the correct form. So in this one, you were looking for a suitable job and you wanted to fill an initial workplace assessment form. So that was the one uh, which you filled it correctly. And also if you go through an ext um, example, you need to fill up with a blue pen, which you did. You also seek clarification. Um, again, if you need any assistance, you also ask questions, so fine. Uh, you, we also went through and through a checklist. So we did proofread and you checked your grammar and you were also able to use a spell check to correct and the format as well. And as I, um, ooh, And as we were sharing the feedback, as I was uh, sharing the feedback, you corrected it and you made necessary changes. And there was no uh, option to sign, so it was perfectly fine. So we did, you did clear the, the case study one. However, we missed out on some part of case study two. Uh, however, it was very basic, just wanted to change the, the font to a red color. And if we were doing a face-to-face, uh, you would have used a red color pen, like an ink pen. Otherwise, the answer wise, formatting wise, it was spot on. It was totally correct. Okay. Um, I'll fill out the feedback form. I'll send it across to you. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. And whenever you're ready, we'll uh, sit for a second attempt and so on. Yeah. Do you have any perfect. questions? Do you have any questions? Uh, no, no. Not at this point in time. Thank you. You good? All right. Cool. Okay. I 